everybody, Steve here. I want to do another video. Like I said, I've been talking about doing wiring diagrams and what goes where. We already looked at what type of wire that we're going to use and how that comes into play with uh, the amount of amps that our system requires. And I purchased a 30 amp PWM or pulse width modulator and I've been reading up trying to figure out how to put that into the wiring diagram to kind of give me an idea of, of how to set it up and and I almost, almost made some mistakes, but uh, I wanted to put out some information on the wiring diagram uh, that I'm using, that I've tested out, and it seems to be working pretty good so far. So uh, let's go to the PowerPoint presentation thingy and take a look and uh, take it from there. Hey everybody, yeah, like I said, uh, we're going to look at an HHO cell wiring diagram with an EFI and PWM, or pulse width modulator. And as we know, we already have our 12 volt DC battery and we have to have power going to our cell. So we'll have a negative line going to our cell and we'll finish up that side a little bit later. Let's first go to the positive side. We have our line and the first thing that we want to look at right now is again a resettable circuit breaker or a 30 amp inline fuse. Now I went to a few auto parts stores uh, where I live and none of them had a resettable circuit breaker so I had to settle for the 30 amp inline fuse. So uh, yeah, go figure. The next thing that we have is the relay uh, and one part of it is the ground goes to the chassis of the vehicle. We talked about that before. And we also have our, a line continuing on to our on off DC switch. Again, there is AC switches and DC switches, so don't make that mistake. And this switch can be installed in the dashboard of your vehicle, or if you don't want to cut it up or anything, uh, you can just uh, put it into a box and have it inside your vehicle. Uh, and again, we talked about if you wanted to go even a step further and get a little bit more high-tech, you could look for and find the power line that goes from your ignition so when you insert the key into your ignition and turn your vehicle on that would also supply the power going to your system and again you could use the on off switch DC switch uh, to either have the system on or off or if somebody like your significant other doesn't really understand this HHO stuff um, he or she can just turn the switch off and just drive with the regular vehicle as it is so we continue on from the relay and we talked about in the last video about having an EFI or electronic fuel injection enhancer hoozy thingy. And again, the, it's going to be grounded to the vehicle chassis and one line is going to go to the computer and the other one is going to go to the oxygen sensor. Now again, this is only if you have one oxygen sensor and if you have two, you have to keep that in mind. So make sure you check, uh, check your vehicle and what it requires and again, this is all at your own risk. Uh, we continue on and we run that 12 volt uh, positive line to our PWM. Now on the PWM that I purchased, it's a 30 amp PWM and one, it has four blade contacts. And so that 12 volt line will go to the, went to the outside left of the PWM and that's where it goes. So that's where the incoming power goes. Next we have our negative line that goes from the battery, our 12 volt battery, and goes to the outside blade of the PWM. And again, uh, we continue on with the two middle blade connectors, and where we have a positive line going to our HHO cell. And we also have a negative line going from the inside of our PWM that goes out, and those two middle connections uh, is the that's the power that's being uh, turned up or turned down. In other words, the volts and the amps, at least on the PWM that I have, uh, the two inside connectors are, is the power that's going out to your cell. But make sure that you check uh, the directions of your cell and the little schematic because you don't want to uh, damage your, your uh, PWM. Now let's say if we want to have a, an amp meter uh, we can stick an amp meter on that negative line going from our PWM in route to our HHO cell. And so we'd have the amp meter there and then have from the amp meter going to the negative terminal on our HHO cell. So that way we could watch the amps go up and down and put that meter inside the vehicle and in the vehicle cab and we can check that out. Now if you also wanted to, you could put a voltmeter. And you would put the voltmeter 
on those two inside blades, uh, on the two inside lines, the positive and the negative, and that would actually show when you rotate that knob or the potentiometer or the pod as they call it, that you would also be able to see the bolts go up and down as you rotate uh, that knob. So anyway, that's it. That's the uh, with the EFI and a pulse width modulator. Talked about. That. Okay, so that is the wiring diagram for an HHO cell system that also has an EFI and a PWM. Um, let you know, I do have a PWM. I do not have an EFI as of yet. I'm still doing the reading on that, checking out some sites, and I'll post some links of uh, a couple of sites that I that I looked at and. Some people have sent me and I found uh, helpful, so you can check those out. Again, I'm not vouching or telling you to buy anything from these people if they do sell anything, but just look at the information and to help better your understanding. And again, whatever you buy, that's on you. You know, just like I buy something, that's on my head, so whatever. Um, I did take uh, my PWM that I have now and I put it in a box and a switch and a whole nine yards. And uh, basically it's got the, the on-off switch here, DC switch. Got the out dial or the dial for the PWM. And I've got the voltmeter here and I got the amp gauge here. And yes, I know they're analog and they're not high speed digital, okay? So give me a break. Uh, that'll be on my final, that'll be on my final system, okay? This is just a test thing. I also got some, uh, little connectors here that I can connect up to the battery so this is more of like a, just a test bench type of thing or take that to the vehicle and these are the leads that uh, hook up to, to the uh, cell itself and all I did is just take like a pencil box from a school supply at, at Wally World or whatever pick it up like a buck 98 and if you look inside I've got the gauges uh, still have the wires to go on the uh, bolt meter and if you look inside there uh, that's the PWM right there, and then right up here, up here, that's the DC switch, and it's also rated at 30, or 50 amps, and then uh, further up here, actually right up here, I don't know if you can see that, but right up there is a 30 amp inline fuse that I put, and uh, I just wanted something that uh, I could take out either here in the room, the lab, or I could take out to the vehicle and, and switch out a cell and, and test it out and just general tests, okay? Because, yeah, I know they're analog, okay? But when I get to my, uh, when I get to my final system, then I put in uh, the truck and possibly the van. The van's got to be really nice because that's like the wife's, that's the nice vehicle. But uh, when I get to that, hopefully I can use some of the, uh, the digital, 20 volts, uh, meters, digital meter, and I also have the uh, uh, digital amp meter, and I also have the, the shunt. I just got that today, so uh, hopefully I'll figure out how to issue system. That should be interesting. Uh, so anyway, that's it, uh, but yeah, if you see anything wrong or see any corrections that need to be made on that uh, diagram or anything, uh, yeah, feel free to post me a message or whatever, or leave a comment, and uh, yeah, share some information, throw some stuff around, you got ideas, um, that's what this is all about, is taking an idea and running it over, and people have different points of views and thinking processes, and uh, maybe something will click and will come on something that will help everybody. You know, make things easier or quicker or faster or produce more oxygen or hydrogen and all that neat stuff and save more money at the gas pump and eventually uh, not have to buy gas at all. That'd be really cool. So, um, anyway, that's it and catch you later. Peace.